Okay, a few little updates on the project. The PCB board that you saw with the three valves on it, the two EF81s and the EL84, are now behind this front panel. And I've stuck in some mesh aluminium bit there to, uh, to keep your fingers away from the mains or from the HD. And similarly on the side where I've got the EZ80 81 I think it is in this one at the moment some more aluminium again just to keep my fingers away from the HT I also managed to get in from an eBay purchase um, a transformer a 50 volt uh, 10VA and that's actually now used to provide the focusing current via a bridge rectifier and smoothing caps and as you can see on the picture, if I just zoom in, a relatively fine spot. I can change the focus slightly with the potentiometer and it's just basically a variable resistor in series with the focusing coil. Uh, this one obviously gives my deflection how much I want to actually have. So that's the main thing I've been doing on that and uh, I'll just go on to the next stage. Let's just pause it and get some more light. The other thing I've been up to is winding some horizontal scan coils or in this one this will be the frame so these are low frequency. Uh, each coil is 1600 turns of 0.16 millimeter enamel copper wire, so 3200 in total. Uh, it's got a resistance of about 510 ohms for the pair, and at 40 milliamps initially, tests have given me a 25 millimeter deflection across the face. So I'm hoping it's going to work. I still have to figure out which, uh, which circuit I'm going to actually use for doing these. Um, one thing others might be interested in is the tape I'm using to bind these is Tessa tape. Uh, I picked up five rolls of it off eBay, uh, nine millimeters wide. I found it absolutely fantastic, a lot better than trying to use um, plastic insulation tape. It sticks, it molds. It doesn't seem to flake away. It's the tape you would put onto vehicle electrics, I do believe, or used to be put onto the old style vehicle electrics. I don't think many people actually use it now. I shall try and hook it up and put it onto a bench power supplier once I've got it on the tube and just show you the horizontal deflection. Okay, another quick test. I have a multimeter small bench power supply. And I've got the horizontal scan coils fitted at the present time. I say the frame scan for horizontal on this because it's um, MBTV. So I can switch on the power supply and just change the current going through it. And not perfectly aligned. A change in that's 100 milliamps going through the coils. I've actually put them in parallel, so that'll be 50 milliamps per coil. That gets me to the left hand of the screen, and if I reverse them, then 100 milliamps to the other side of the screen. So gives me a choice of either doing the coils in series or in parallel depending on which suits um, whatever circuit I come up with and that's the, my major problem I don't know what circuit to actually use because it's at 12 and a half hertz or 12 and a half cycles per second I'm never quite sure what to pick I'll just do a sensitivity check and just uh, stick some tape on and see what we actually get. 
stick it across the tube. Not. And let me leave it at something I can actually. That's a hundred milliamps. Which is at that point. And do a quick measure job. I'm well, gonna put the light on. Right, according to the ruler I've got here, it's 31 millimeters at 100 milliamps. So it gives me an idea of what I need to work out current wise, drive wise and stuff like that. Although I doubt if I'm going to actually go full size of the screen. I'll probably look at doing um, an image if I can. Let's have a quick look. Which should be something like 60 wide. Um, nope, it's 2 by 3 so I can't even, that's too big. Um, if I could do something, an image which is 50 mils wide by 75 mil tall, even that might be pushing it a little bit, might have to drop that to something like 60 by 40. I'm not sure, it's just a matter of see how we go. But as I say, the next problem is actually how I'm going to drive this with a valve circuit at these sort of frequencies, which is why generally the uh, narrowband TVs use um, a split rail transistorized driving it um, because it's easier to do push-pull drivers with split rail with transistors than it is valves. But anyhow, that's a quick update on the project. How far I'm getting, just to say I'm not ignoring the project, but there we go. Thanks for watching.